The Owen James Report is brought to you by Let Lasco Money Ground take you to Brazil. Visit LascoJamaica.com for details. Conditions apply. Tell your loved ones overseas to send your money transfer with MoneyGram and you could win thousands of prizes, including a trip to Brazil in 2014. Between August 15 and December 31, pick up your money at a Lasco MoneyGram location and you could win the grand prize of an all-expense-paid trip for two to Brazil or one of 20 Lasco baskets or one of 80 prizes of $200 Digicel credit weekly. Plus, you could double your money transfers for the month up to $50,000. Let Lasco MoneyGram take you to Brazil. Visit LascoJamaica.com for details. Conditions apply. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. National Commercial Bank has launched the first salvo in terms of new products for a highly competitive financial environment this new year. NCB, in collaboration with its insurance arm, has introduced to the marketplace a new credit card insurance product dubbed Creditor Life on Credit Cards. The new facility offers a maximum of 2.5 million Jamaican dollars worth of insurance on outstanding credit card balances. The new facility is an apparent estate planning tool which will pay off outstanding balances on personal credit cards in case of the death or critical illness of credit card holders. NCB says a key feature of the new credit card insurance product is that no underwriting is required, essentially meaning that the client does not need to provide any proof of insurability or any declaration of health. News on the Jamaican foreign exchange market now. On the first trading day for the new year, the Jamaican dollar has weakened against the three regularly traded international currencies. In other words, the U.S. and Canadian dollars as well as the British pound strengthened against the Jamaican dollar. The benchmark American dollar gained one cent Jamaican, closing at an average selling rate of $106.38, whilst the Canadian dollar also gained one cent Jamaican to close at $99.73. Sterling advanced by 8 Jamaican cents to close at $175.92 Jamaican. There was only moderate activity on the first trading day of the Jamaican stock market for the new year. Less than half a million shares were $3.6 million changed hands, and the preference stock JMMB 7.5% accounted for over 50% of business. 17 stocks traded, with 10 advancing, 2 declining, and 5 holding firm. The winners included the microfinance company, Access Financial Services, Consolidated Bakeries or Purity, Grace Kennedy, Lasco Manufacturing, NCB, Sagicor's Real Estate Fund, and Seprod. New junior market entrant Medical Disposables and Scotia Group were the losers. In a bid to encourage greater tax compliance, the Jamaican government has created an incentive for unregulated companies and self-employed that pay their taxes on time. According to Tax Administration Jamaica, effective January 1, unregulated companies and self-employed individuals engaged in a trade, vocation, or profession will be entitled to claim a non-refundable employment tax credit or ETC. The caveat is that eligible persons have to file and pay their monthly payroll statutory deductions on time. Tax Administration Jamaica emphasized that the ETC will be restricted to 30% of the tax chargeable on the company's or trader's income. Additionally, it warns that the ETC may not be claimed against any income tax chargeable on non-trading income such as interest and dividend income. Such income will continue to attract a 25% tax. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Let Lasco Money Ground take you to Brazil. Visit LascoJamaica.com for details. Conditions apply.